Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Hear me the GSM solution. Today video is going to be interesting about the topic of how you can maintain battery health good always. We do not claim that you can maintain a 100% lifetime that is a reality, because Apple also mentions that after the completion of 500 cycles, the battery reduces 20% of health, but you can maintain battery health as good as other users who cannot see that videos. So, if you like to stay updated with the tips subscribe to our channel. Welcome again, do not fully charge or fully discharge your device's battery charge it to around 50%. If you store a device when its battery is fully discharged, the battery could fall into a deep discharge state, which renders it incapable of holding a charge. Conversely, if you store it fully charged for an extended period of time, the battery may lose some capacity, leading to shorter battery life. Power down the device to avoid additional battery use. Place your device in a cool, moisture-free environment that's less than 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees centigrade. If you plan to store your device for longer than 6 months, charge it to 50% every 6 months. Every iPhone user concern about battery health. First, you have to know what the battery health stands for. Battery health is a charge holding capacity on battery. With time battery loses its capacity to retain power, and this is just the nature of batteries. What is the region and how you can maintain it like a pro? Here are the few tips you have to follow on the everyday using of the iPhone. What the mistake before you have done that makes a big impact on the So let go for the tips that make reduce a big impact on battery health. That battery health cannot be monitored on a daily basis or every single day. You have noticed that after the update your iPhone battery health drain 1 or 2%. Why this happens? While you update your iPhone. It goes through a checklist. So, it checks that every component on your devices is working or not. Of course, the battery is also one of the most important components of power source that cannot be apart. It usually checks the battery. When you update your iPhone to a new iOS update checks all the data like modem firmware, Wisconsin Fi, audio, etc. You have to understand that while you charging the iPhone with charger or other sources, the nature of the battery is that it produces heat radiation on the process of charging. That makes the effect on your battery health. If you made some daily uses of a mistake on the process. Apple designs itself makes Apple unique products and added science. Most of the product is designed through the aluminum cases that absorb the heat from CPU and the other parts, and also from the battery, and transform to open air. Here I am going to mention that while you charging the battery remove the extra cover from the iPhone, that is one of the most important thing to maintain battery health. You have to understand that while you use the iPhone that makes the effect on your battery health. If you made some daily uses of a mistake on the process. The aluminum cases work as a heat sink that absorbs the heat from the CPU and the other parts, and also from the battery, and transform to open air. Here I am going to mention that while you playing games and video calls or other things that time battery consumption more that produce heat. So, better remove the extra cover from the iPhone that is one of the most important things to maintain battery health while playing games. Leave the iPhone in the car. When we are in some works and leave the iPhone on the car, the temperature inside the car is so much high with the greenhouse effect. More than 10 to 15 degrees centigrade from outside that heat makes the effect on battery health, that is also the important tips you have to notice on. Outside temperature is high. While you putting iPhone and goes on the place where so much heat that time you have noticed that battery drain as much as on normal use, that is causing throw outer heat that also affects battery health. So, better not using the iPhone in direct sunlight, especially in summer days. While using cellular data and playing games or browsing the iPhone have made near to burn that you experience in daily uses of iPhones, that I face most of the iPhone 7 series phones have to experience that damage modem chip from extra heating. No do iPhone was a great product, but the technical issues are hidden. In my experience of repair, cellular data users' iPhone's battery was mostly damaged on other Wi-Fi users' batteries. So avoid as much as cellular data use and if possible use always Wi-Fi. I recommend you.
Another most important tip for battery health is that the battery drains so much fast as an aspect. While the cellular network is weaker in searching. So, while searching on the network battery drains so fast and also produces heat. Better put the iPhone on flight mode in those cases. The new features added on iOS is that optimized battery charging. It controls the overcharging on the night. So, it can wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use it. That stops the iPhone from 100% on the daily charging cycle. Charger and data cable is also playing an important role to maintain battery health. I recommend you to always use the original charger and data cable or MFI certified cable or dock. MFI stands for made for iPhone dot original dock and data cable design and compatible with these products. Third party cable creates so much problem not only on battery but also on the charging system of your iPhone. I also not recommend you use a fast charger on a daily basis better use both. While at home and free use a normal charger. Avoid car charger if possible. If you use but remember do not connect on charging while ignition on the car at that time is slightly risky than other times of charging. If that stuff is helpful for you do not forget to share. Thumbs up if you like. If it is helpful for you to subscribe to support us. We are the GSM solution. Peace out till the next time.